Hello everyone, Niget here, and welcome to another match of Little War Game. Let's go ahead and jump really quickly into this one, especially as we are joining this game 2 minutes and 33 uh, seconds into it. It is a friendly match on, I believe the map is called Ice Cold, um, between Weird Rat playing with the blue pieces in the top right corner. Versus his opponent, playing with the red pieces, is AC. Looks like he decided to go for a one den into an expand, and he's going to transition into a little bit of mech play, whereas Weird Rat went for a fast expand into this two den. You can tell it's a fast expand without even uh, having seen the build order, because Weird Rat only has the one wolf out so far, and he's already got the castle up. Ooh, we do see a little bit of micro here. Uh, the fact that Weird Rat was able to uh, kind of surround all those workers in that mineral line gives Weird, La Weird Rat a lot of uh, a lot of pressure here. Uh, let's go ahead and do just a quick uh, rundown, just kind of quick little introductions as far as I go. Uh, welcome to my channel where I post videos about Little War Game, whether they be guides. Uh, whether they be podcasts or whether they be replays very similar to this one. Uh, if this is your first time hearing about Little War Game, uh, it's been getting a lot more attention recently from people like uh, Winter, Starcraft, Grubby, and Harstum having made videos on this. And so if this is something that you are interested in learning more about and seeing more content about, uh, I ask that you leave a like on this video and subscribe to watch future future videos as well. Let's go ahead and talk about the uh, two players that we have here. So recently, with the uh, influx of players that we've been getting, um, both Weird Rat and AC have been able to play a lot more ranked games, which has not always been the case. It's actually been uh, almost a rarity that players would get to, to play ranked games. But what this means is that their MMR is now becoming adjusted. So if I remember correctly, and, and this is just purely off of memory, um, Weird Rat should have a higher MMR than AC, but I, I might be wrong about that actually, because AC's played a lot of games. Uh, I think just recently AC made it to the Alpha uh, division, and I don't remember exactly where Weird Rat is placed right now, uh, whether he is in Gamma uh, or potentially D1, just maybe for not playing the games, but he is a very good player, um, was able to make it to the finals of the uh, $500 Little War Game Tournament, is able to micro these wolves to get these surrounds, which is really good. That was a very sneaky pickoff, and the fact that Weird Rat is just getting these perfect surrounds, ooh, he lets go of it. Uh, you essentially need four wolves or four units to kind of box in a, uh, a unit and get that surround off. Um, the, that's a lot of what Weird Rat is trying to do, and a lot of friendly fire uh, from this catapult to target down AC's own wolf. So Weir Weird Rat is trading extremely efficiently, and it looks like AC was trying to go for like a brand new build, a brand new idea here, which was this uh, den into catapult transition, uh, catadrop uh, transition that he's going for. Weird Rat pre pre prepared for it. Uh, with this watchtower, and he's also getting a ballista at home, so he's going to be able to shut that down. This will actually be a really good example of how to shut down uh, catapult drops. So something uh, that happened just in the last day, actually, when I'm recording this, Atano Circus had posted a kind of rant uh, session on his stream where he talks about the strength of the airship, what it's able to do. And I know for myself, just playing against players that are uh, very strong players like Weird Rap, players like Square Root, um, that airship harass is something that you can shut down with perfect play, uh, with this ballista especially, and, and even more so when you get an airship of your own to kind of move the ballista around. But AC is going to get a little bit of pressure, Weird Rat, adjusting his workers so that he's able to uh, not take any additional damage, and he's going to have a lot of really good control on that. Even Yeah, even now we see that Weird Rat is moving his workers around so that he doesn't get hit. Wolf's doing a lot of damage. Ballista finally does arrive, which means that it's going to be able to repel the, the, this drop away. 
once Weird Rat starts starts controlling his airship. So now we, we see basically the counter to the airship um, kind of catapult drops, which is this ballista plus airship combo. The reason why you don't want to drop as a cat dropping player is if you lose this airship, all the units that are in loaded up in that airship are going to be lost uh, to, to things like wolves. And that is a very expensive cost, especially when you delay your third base so much to be able to do drops like this. So definitely Weird Rat in the better position here. Does lose another worker. I wonder if AC has the upgrades. He does not. Uh, so an example of how players in Little War Game are able to deal with that uh, airship harassment. We don't see the health bars of this uh, this airship here just because of how close it is to the top of the, to the top of the screen here. Uh, Weird Rat is going to be able to kill this uh, airship pretty much no matter what. Ooh, this was a very dangerous position for that airship to have been uh, if Weird Rat would have just had a little bit more patience regarding uh, that airship. Surely that would have gone down over this area which meant that AC would have lost all of these units inside the airship. Uh, looks like AC's going for a little bit of a push, so a bit of a surprise for me as I've been focusing so much on that airship. Weird Rat using his workers as a defensive measure to defend against these uh, Gatling guns as well as the wolves that showed up. And now as we can see, this is the exact scenario I was talking about earlier, where Weird Rat, uh, or specifically AC, will be losing uh, all those units that were that were packed up into that airship um, and and that that is how you deal with a uh, catapult drop right there with that ballista with that uh, with that airship there uh, weird rat deciding to tech so kind of a kind of a uh, straightforward game for weird rat so far basically deciding that he wanted to play beast getting the two den and now he is focusing up on the tech let's go ahead and look at what weird rat is going for so weird rat he's going for some tech of his own in the form of a mill but also in the form of a werewolf den oh looks like ac is kind of putting in the chat that he didn't realize that his third was not building so weird rat with the uh, economy advantage can barely see it against this white background but i'm going to move uh, the screen over uh, weird rat no actually ac has mined uh a lot more than weird rat has uh so far in this game maybe maybe just due to the um the amount of workers that ac had going on but with a fourth base from weird rat while ac is still getting a uh, third situated uh, that statistic will definitely change and also ac has lost about 700 more gold uh, than his opponent and weird rat is now in the uh, income advantage in terms of the uh, the um, the amount of income the amount of gold that's coming in getting two more dens getting his upgrades going attack upgrades pairs really nicely with the uh, dragons especially when you try to do some worker harass we did see the werewolf den finish from AC so now he is going to be able to get some werewolf production let's go ahead and do a little bit of an in-depth look at werewolves and kind of talk a little bit about their strength. So if you see at the bottom of the screen, werewolves extremely powerful for a few reasons. Uh, it went away, but the thing I was going to mention was they have four armor and they they just start off with four armor, uh, which is really good against things like beast, which only do ten damage uh, to start off with. Uh, things like wolves only do ten damage. Weird Rat was able to scout out the fact that. Um, this push is coming. He does have dragons to respond to this and uh, AC doesn't have anything that can shoot up um, AC even is bringing his werewolf. They have that very powerful smash ability But again, this whole push is dead to dragons Especially if weird rat can keep producing them doesn't look like he has the most amount of dragon production going on right now this werewolf was able to smash, so AC definitely ta taking good control of that. He's even got the wolves to follow it up on. The one thing that Weird Rat is doing really well here is, again, that dragon. Uh, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a gyrocraft versus dragon fight. Uh, AC making sure to prioritize killing this dragon, especially as a lot of his ground army is exposed to this dragon. The fact that Weird Rat hasn't started to target, he does target it now. Uh, and he's also got the second dragon, so would really recommend Weird Rat bring his uh, ballistas back. 
Um, and then I think Weird Rat just lost all the workers in his third base. Uh, so he's definitely going to be down in terms of income for a little bit here. AC going for a really strong push. I don't know if Weird Rat is going to be able to stop this with the units on the ground. These, um, these, like I mentioned, these Gyrocraft are targeting down the dragons. Weird Rat did start to control this Ballista. He needs to drop the Ballista, try, try to kill these um, uh, this uh, Gyrocraft, just to make sure none of his dragons die. If Weirat is able to kind of survive this push with uh, with these dragons up, should be good. And AC obviously has committed a lot of resources into this push as well, especially given the fact that he was only mining from two bases for, for so long. Weirat kind of does need to start prioritizing this werewolf. He did go for a little bit of SimCity, so this area looks like it's not wide enough for this werewolf to walk through. And as a result, it kept the worker line very safe uh, from this from this werewolf, especially as it was not able to get that smash in. So very good uh, SimCity from Weird Rat, very good presence of mind uh, for him to just realize that's what's going on. And all these, by the way, all these uh, high-level plays are not happening... Uh, because they're playing in a tournament. This is a friendly uh, match. The, them, these two players just playing against each other. And both of these players, veterans of the game, having played for um, probably maybe close to four years for Weird Rat, definitely longer for AC, maybe even closer to 10 years for AC. So very strong, solid players from both of these players. It does look like AC did decide to get the Ballista. Worker repair on the Ballista was keeping it very healthy for a moment. Uh, Weird Rat targeting it down, targeting the Ballista down with these wolves, and now that the wolves uh, kill it, these dragons are able to kind of focus up on that ground army. Gyrocraft did do a lot of damage against that dragon, even taking one down. Uh, Weird Rat responds with bringing his own Ballista back, but again, we're in the same situation where these dragons are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Ballista get, get placed... So that's going to keep the dragons safe for a little bit uh, against these gyrocraft. Again, we need to see a little bit more ballista reinforcements from AC, which we do. They're on the way. Weird Rat getting a werewolf of his own. Where was it? It may have actually died already to all these uh, Gatling guns. No, no, Weird Rat was using the airship to kind of micro it around. So we do see a very dangerous, dangerous push. And now AC has the economy advantage, having mind about... Uh, 1,000 gold more than his opponent. So AC uh, with about uh, a 2,000 gold. No, no, incorrect. They're about even actually because AC has lost about a thousand more gold than his opponent, uh, but he's also mined about a thousand more gold uh, over his opponent, losing that dragon to that ballista. Very unfortunate uh, to see that happen. It's one of these situations where we do see how strong the ballista are at keeping these dragons away. Weird Rat having to take a step back, especially in the face of all these Gatling guns. And you might be might be asking, why did AC bring all these workers along with these Gatling guns? There is an ability that the workers have called Auto Repair. You don't even have to control them to get usage out of the ability as long as you just uh, right-click on the uh, working or, or repair icon that the workers have, uh, which pretty much... Um, automatically sends them to repair uh, units that have been damaged, which makes these uh, Gatling guns have so much effective health, especially when the damage in Little War game is already uh, such a low DPS game. So AC taking advantage of what he's able to do with these workers. We can even see it here. And as a result, Weird Rat loses a lot of his army. He is able, again, as I mentioned, he's able to keep these dragons alive. So all of this is going to be dead against dragons but ac has the ballista up targeting the wolf that was targeting the ballista making sure that it's going to be okay with the with the ballista and it's just so interesting to see how the the interplay between all these units works weird rat definitely needs to move his dragon so he's not taking free damage against this these ballista and in fact i recommend oh looks like weird rat is deciding to ignore the ballista he just wants to get ground control and once he has control over what's going on on the ground by controlling these ballista, then he's made the decision to target uh, or, yeah, eliminate the Gatling guns and then target the ballista. And if you're able to do that, then the dragons will have free reign. So 
really, really creative problem solving by Weird Rat here to kind of just realize where the threats lie, uh, where what he needs to prioritize to, to make sure he stays in this game. So very, very strong push by uh, AC. I, I, unless he has another Ballista, I think this push is over. Uh, he might, he is getting another Ballista now. He's still on three base. He's actually on four bases now, which is really good, but he's mined out of his main base. So has Weird Rat. So Weird Rat is getting his fifth base, so his fourth uh, effective mining base. Again, Gyrocraft does go down. And now it looks like he's going to send a wolf run by just to make sure that AC is not getting any mining done. If these wolves can shut down this mining base, that might be really, really solid uh, from that player. Very interesting to see how this game has kind of progressed so far. Uh, AC just deciding and realizing that because he was so many bases down that he needed to go for a very strong push to try to get some sort of uh, economy advantage uh, in, or some sort of advantage in the game in general. And it does look like these dragons do arrive uh, along with the wolves. Uh, AC has to respond with a defense so the two ballista will be more than enough to send these guys uh, these dragons in particular away and then the werewolves will be enough to ward these wolves away especially with their upgrade ability let's go ahead and check uh, or their smash ability i really want to check upgrades here so ac does not yet have uh, the black powder upgrade that does uh, area of effect damage against air units um, that might be something he is going to look to invest into but weird red is keeping his dragon uh, ratio pretty low it seems like seven dragons is a, is a good amount of dragons to have it's not too many that you're overly committed to dragons and uh, it's not too few that they they don't become a threat anymore they're definitely a threat especially if they can roam around and do damage at bases like these looks like ac is about to lose another werewolf uh, to these wolves and then a, a weird rat again is going to rotate with the uh with some with his dragons in particular and some wolves to, to knock out the workers here. Losing so many workers. This is just a complete uh, base that's just gone now. Uh, Weird Rat also trying to do a run by with this werewolf. He's, if he's able to get a smash uh, in this base, AC is going to be down a lot of economy. It's down so much economy, actually. Uh, pulls back the dragons. Doesn't look like this one is paired up in the group, uh, but essentially pulls back the dragons avoids the pressure from the ballista at the same time ac is moving towards the other side of the map uh with werewolves with a little bit of a run by and realizing that he has lost just too many resources in the fact that he lost this main castle as well as not being able to get any pressure of his own decides to gg really well played by both of these players good game ac good game weird rat thank you for this amazing game and thank you, viewers. If you really enjoyed watching this video of Little War Game, like I mentioned, please go ahead and leave a like uh, down below. Comment what your favorite part of the video was so far. And uh, if you ever want to watch some more videos about Little War Game, feel free to subscribe, and I'll continue to make more Little War Game content. See you guys in the next video.